What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna fix the location of the mirrors on my 66 Mustang. I don't know who put these mirrors in this location, but this is not the actual right location. This is the passenger side, not all cars came with the mirror, uh, but this is not where this one goes. In fact, if you open up the, the wing mirror, the wing window here, the wing, the vent window, it hits this mirror and you can't even open this all the way without it interfering with that. And it's even, uh, the location of the mirror is worse on the driver's side. And over here, see it's way up here with the front of the door. Yeah, it clears the, the wing window or the vent window, which is fine, but I actually, <laughs> I have to almost look, like this is actually in the way when I look at the mirror. You'd have to look through this window or this window to look through the mirror and it's just not where it needs to be. This needs to be way up here and then the one on the passenger side needs to be moved up like that too so let's go ahead and get started and we'll get these things moved into the right position the first thing i want to do here on the passenger side is i'm going to go ahead and take the mirror off and see where the how big the holes are in this sheet metal because that's one thing i'm going to have to deal with is the the location of those holes are going to be there in this door so i've got a solution to at least temporarily plug this up and what i've got is just a handful of little plaque the black plastic clips you can buy at any auto parts store that are meant to just kind of fill in a hole or something like that and they're just black and I painted them white in fact I don't think this is the exact color of the car but it's close enough to again get me by because I plan on painting this car down the road and I don't want to go through the hassle of tearing up the paint on that door uh, when I'm going to be painting the car anyway so what I'll do is I'll just find out which one of these kind of fits best I imagine ones like this are not going to fit because of how big that is but I just went ahead and grabbed a handful of them painted the heads white now I've got something to fill that hole um, in the door. So let's go over and take the mirror off and then see what we're working with. The nice thing about these mirrors is it's just a couple of Phillips head screws that are holding them in place. You don't need any special tools. And the second one's a little trickier to get to. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tricky to get to this guy. Okay, well, look at this. Not only do I have holes that I'm not gonna use anymore, I've got two sets of holes that I'm not gonna use anymore. Let's get this cleaned up real quick. So they say you're supposed to be 11 inches back from the, the, the crease in the door up here to where the bolt hole goes for the mirror. And if we use this hole right here, this, you know, of these two, this first one, oops, sorry, put that in the right spot. That hole is, based on the edge of the door, it's about 11 and 3 16 is about where this hole falls. Now that's not too bad, considering that we need to actually have this back just a little bit farther so that we can, you know, still clear this, this vent window. So if I utilize the existing hole that they were using before, I'm going to clear, see the, the window's gonna clear the mirror. You have to be careful because if you go too far back, then you start to lose the ability to tilt this mirror enough for the driver to use it to see out the car. Ideally, if you move this farther forward, it'd be easier to maneuver this so that you could see out of it, but then you run into the problems where if it's too far forward, yeah, then you can open up this vent window, um, but then it doesn't look like the spot that it's supposed to be in. So I think what I'm gonna do is I can utilize this hole here and that little rubber piece that goes, the plastic piece underneath here will cover that hole. And then I'll just need to get some of those clips and put them in these two holes up here. Um, looks like somebody tried to touch up the paint. So this whole part of the door needs to be redone anyways. But I think I can get away with this, how this sits by just basically just drilling the hole for the back screw using this front one and the window will still, it will still clear this. So let's get that ready. Now what I want to use is an eighth inch drill bit, but I'm going to get that little black plastic, plastic piece and put it on here as a template so mark where that hole needs to be. So if we lay this on here, and line it up with that first hole and get this thing as straight as you can. You're supposed to be about an eighth of an inch, I'm sorry, an inch and an eighth from this crease to the hole because that's about where that one is. So we're going to do our best to line this up right about there and mark this with the Sharpie. There, that's where we're gonna drill that hole. We're gonna use an eighth inch drill bit. All right, that is an inch and eighth from the center to the crease up there. 
inch and an eighth. So good, we're right where we need to be this way. And then going this way, we're again, we're kind of forced by that hole, but that's okay. Now when drilling this hole, uh, guys, I don't wanna, yeah, this is this is a permanent thing. Once you drill a hole, you've got a hole. Um, there are good ways to do this. You know, you can put tape on here to protect the paint from getting chipped up. Uh, this whole door needs to be repainted. I'm not worried about it. Um, this is something that you know you guys may want to take a little more caution on doing that and maybe doing it better than what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drill a hole through, and if it chews up the paint a little bit, it is what it is. All right, I'm just going to run this screw in here just to make sure that we've got the right diameter, that the screw will do its thing. Yeah, I'm able to run that all the way in. Good, so we got the right size hole. The paint isn't the best here. Flaked just a little bit, but again, you guys may want to take a little extra care than I did. Okay, now we can put that plastic piece down, and then we can go ahead and put the mirror on and, and bolt it to the car. Then on there. All right. Now We can open up the window, it clears the mirror, that's the important part. Now I go to the other side. Now on the driver's side, I went ahead and moved it, got it all in place. I didn't have the luxury of using the old holes because I had to move it so far back. But now it's in the right spot. The uh, vent window clears it, so everybody's happy there. That's good. Um, and then again, now we're 11 inches from, the, from here all the way back to this first screw, and then an, eighth, an inch and an eighth from this edge to the screw, so we're good there. But these, now I've got five holes to fill with those little plugs, and that's just gonna look ugly. Um, but let's see how those things fit in there and see how they look. So if I take one of these little guys and I cut off some of the legs on this thing, and if we put it in there, let's see if this will even, no, it's not quite gonna fit. I'm gonna have to modify these things to, I'm gonna have to cut the, the plastic on those to make that fit a little bit better. As we cut that a little bit more, oh, see, that doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look great either. I don't know, guys. Um, it's, again, this is just temporary until I can get the doors done, but uh, this might just have to be just good enough for now. And that just looks horrible. Oh, that almost looks worse. I should just leave them out. Well, that takes care of the driver's side. And that one's just, the hole's just too close to have these. I mean, even like this, you know, it's kind of overlapped on top of each other. And it just, uh, just looks bad. Maybe it's an incentive to, to get this car painted. Um, but anyways, all right, guys. So that takes care of that. We got the mirrors moved. So now they're in the spot that they're supposed to be. And they clear the vent windows and everything's good there. So guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.